Hi everyone, I'm Alaa Jadi. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Urban, and today we're going to break down Overtime by Nowhere. Sounds just like this. Alright, for this first part, we're going to go through the intro for the song. We're in the key of F sharp minor. And the pattern here for the intro and pretty much the whole song is that we're going to go from F sharp all the way down to A sharp. So we have a descending bass line here. We start off by playing F sharp, go down on E and get to D sharp. Okay, so let's focus on those first three chords. We're on F sharp minor, so our F sharp will be a minor chord, and here it will be F sharp minor seven at 11. All right, so that's a pretty small voicing. I only have four notes. That's F sharp and B on my left hand, E, and then F sharp on my right. So I have the 11th and the 7th in between those two F sharps. All right, that's the first one. F sharp minus seven at 11. Then we go down on E. And here we're going to play E11, okay? E and A left hand, D, and then still having F sharp on top. Now, from here, I'm going to take those three notes at the bottom, so E, A, and D, take them down by one half step, okay? So I'm going to play D sharp, G sharp, and C sharp. D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and then F sharp. So right now I'm playing D sharp, minus seven, add 11. So that's the first three chords. Now to go a little bit more into details, we're going to play our F sharp minor chord twice. E11 twice. And here on D sharp minor seven at 11. We're going to play that four times. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, one more time. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now, just a little bit faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Coming next in our descending pattern, we have C sharp, B, and then A sharp. All right. Right before that, we're going to add a passing chord in between. All right, so right after D sharp, minus seven at 11, we're going to play D. And that chord will be a major chord, D major seven at 13. So here I'm playing five notes instead of four. D, F sharp, and B, so that's three notes on my left hand. C sharp and F sharp. That's why I have the 13th here on B and the major 7th here on C sharp on my right hand. And just like F sharp and E11, I'm going to play my D major 7 at 13 twice. One, two. We can now start descending on C sharp, B, and A sharp. So on C sharp, we're going to make it minor and add the 11.
that's C sharp, F sharp, and then B on my left hand, then E and B on my right. So the 11th is down here on my left hand, the 7th, then the minor 3rd. Now we're on B, we're going to keep that same voicing and go simply a whole step down. So we have B, E, and A, D, and A. So that's B minus 7 at 11. Still keeping the same voicing, we're going to go down on A sharp and play A sharp minus 7 at 11. So I simply went a half step down. A sharp, D sharp, G sharp for my left hand, C sharp, and G sharp for my right hand. And we're also going to play those three chords twice. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, now before going straight back up to our F sharp minor chord, we're going to add two chords in between. The first one is D sharp, and the second one is G sharp. So on the first one, we're going to play a chord that we already learned, that's D sharp minor 7, add 11. Now for the G sharp chord, so as you noticed from my previous chord, so from D sharp minor 7, add 11, I simply added this A sharp on top. Right, so I'm on G sharp, I'm playing this voicing on its fifth, so that's a G sharp minor 11. So we're gonna play those two chords before going back to F sharp minor. And just like the other ones, we're going to play them twice. One, two, one, two. Now let's recap from the top. We have F sharp minor 7 at 11 played twice. Then E11 played twice. D sharp minor 7 at 11th played four times. And now as a passing chord, we have D major 7 at 13. Also played twice. Then C sharp minor 7 at 11. Going a whole step down, playing B minor 7 at 11. Now going a half step down, playing A sharp minor 7 at 11. Then from here, play D sharp minor 7 at 11. And G sharp minor 11. 3, 4. So that's the first pattern we have for this intro, and we're going to play it twice. I'm gonna play that again, just a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Next up, for the last 32 measures of the intro, we're going to replay the pattern we just learned and we're gonna add some variations to it. Alright, so we have two new chords that we have to learn. For the first 16 measures, we're gonna add this. That's A minus 7 at 11, right? A, D, G, C, and G. Now for the last 16 measures, we're going to add this. That's A major 7 at 13. 
A, E, G sharp for my left hand, C sharp, and then F sharp for my right. Okay, so here's the first 16 measures. So as you noticed, after my A sharp minus seven add 11 chord, instead of playing D sharp minus seven add 11, I replaced that chord by playing a minus 7 at 11, right? And I also played it twice. And then afterwards, played my G sharp minor 11. So that didn't change. Okay, let's replay it. 3, 4. Once again, all right, now here's the last sixteen measures. So, just like the first 16 measures, the change occurred after I played my A sharp minor chord. Right, so after I played A sharp minor 7 at 11, I played A major 7 at 13, and also played it twice. And you can also notice that I didn't play my G sharp minor 11. Right, so I simply played a major 7 at 13 twice, and then left the space before playing the chorus. Let's replay it. Once again, Great, we're now ready to recap the whole thing. So I'm going to play it once slow and then play it at full speed. One, two, three, four. Here's the intro at full speed. So this was the first part. For the rest of the song, you can head over to musicgreatness.com where I'll teach you the chorus, the verse, and also the ending. As always, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another YouTube.